What we're doing here in the food bank is we're working with aquaponics. And aquaponics at the very basic level is aquaculture, which is fish farming, um, combined with hydroponics, which is uh, soilless agriculture. This is where it all begins. We feed the fish. Uh, the fish provide us with some waste, which is, uh, you can see it floating around sometimes in there. And that waste, uh, through a couple of biological processes, is converted to nitrates, which is the fertilizer for the plants. So I like to say that the fish are the farmers in this case because we don't add anything to our water. We add no fertilizers, no chemicals, no pesticides. It's all naturally grown. And uh, it's just we're adding fish food for the fish, and as a result, the plants grow. Uh, the plants filter the water for the fish as well. They take up all those nutrients in their roots. So it takes those nitrates, which, which could be harmful to the fish, out of the water, and they use it to grow. We have 51 uh, member agencies across Mississauga, and so at our food banks, we had over nine, we had just under 90,000 visits last year to our food banks, and an additional 120,000 visits to our other programs. So the challenge for us is trying to get healthier, better quality food. So we're constantly struggling to get in a higher quality food, more nutritious food, higher protein food. And so that's where we get the challenge in terms of donations being down, it's more expensive. Uh, and people tend to want to still give us a can of soup and a can of craft dinner, which is fine, but we're trying to also source higher quality, higher nutritional value food. So we'll put out, we'll put out in the community around 11,000 servings of lettuce uh, in the year and then about, uh, just about 800 servings of fish. That's pretty significant even for such a small setup. We're only about 500 square feet. And uh, yeah, it's already having a big impact in the community. Uh, we've been getting some feedback from the clients who have been uh, receiving this lettuce and they've been very uh, happy and they feel very fortunate to receive this fresh lettuce, especially when it's dark and gray outside, we have fresh greens inside. Aquaponics is very scalable. In fact, we've had people already say, let's make it bigger. And we're just getting going with this farm here, which is a relatively small farm, but uh, it, it, the technology, the science is exactly the same, whether it's bigger or small. So uh, who knows where we'll be a year or two from now. We may have an offsite aquaponics farm somewhere nearby, growing larger, larger, uh, larger volume of uh, produce.